we've got a fun one today. I've got myself a new mouse. So I have quite big hands. So I've got a Corsair Iron Claw RGB mouse. I didn't buy it for the RGB. I bought it for the size and nothing else, if I'm honest. So, you know, since I run a YouTube channel that takes videos of random boxes for no especially good reason, I may as well take a video of this box, eh? So, stand it up, have a look at the top. We've got a retailer sticker there, I think. It's This was bought from Overclockers UK. On the side here. Control Freak. I mean, when they say Control Freak, I mean, any computer mouse, you would want it to do exactly what you say, right? You would want it to be kind of precise. Yeah, that's, hopefully that's not something they consider unusual. There's the other side. Look quickly at the base of the box. So we've got various product information there. I really need to fix the lighting at some point. And moving to the back. Lightweight at 105 grams and shaped for palm grips. Precision 18,000 dots per inch optical sensor. Onboard profile storage and seven programmable buttons. And we have that in a um, variety of languages, along with a couple of nice pictures of the mouse there and there. And there's our system requirements. USB port, Windows 7, 8 or 10. And an internet connection if you want their software. I've been doing some videos about the boxes of Wi-Fi stuff recently, and I've been saying it's great that they don't need an internet connection to download the software, but I think for the RGB software for a mouse we can forgive it a bit more. So there it is. There is the mouse. So let's um, see if I can do a reasonably good job of getting this out. I haven't looked inside this box before, this is new to me as well, so we have a warranty guide. Some information about disposal of it, if you need to dispose of it. And what I assume to be a manual. Yeah, it's sort of a manual, it's one of those um, great big things. Okay, that's basically a manual. And there is the mouse itself. Secure between a couple of pieces of cardboard and some plastic. Nice long braided USB cable there with a little Velcro uh, tidy strap. A label on the cable, it's always nice to have. Uh, connector looks solid. Very chunky connector. Sort of the size of a flash drive. But bigger than a USB Wi-Fi adapter. I don't know why I make that joke, because like literally nobody's ever going to get that joke unless you've watched like the video on that TP-Link wireless end USB adapter, which nobody will have because these videos aren't really for people to watch. They're just for me to feel better about throwing boxes out, so sort of hold a camera, point it at the box and ramble for 10 minutes. Just so that I feel like it's been recorded and I don't have to worry about like keeping it as some kind of weird historical record. All right, so I'm now um, trying to figure out how to get this apart. Um, this is the disadvantage of doing it live, of course. Now, if I stop the video and figure it out, I'll have to do editing. Or I could cop out and I could just end the video and say, yeah, that's your lot, thanks for watching, hope you found it useful. And then, oh, here we are, there's a tab folded in under here, so if we can lift that up. And then our plastic lifts away. And there, there is our lovely mouse that hopefully will be quite comfortable for my large hands. I'm holding the camera with my right hand, so I can't put it on the mouse. Um, 
but it seems pretty chunky. I think it should be good. Anyway, if for some reason you're watching this video, I hope you found it useful. Um, yeah, that's all. Cheers.